Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about regime shifts in coral and macroalgal systems. So what's regime shift? For example, going from a system that's completely coral dominated to one that's completely macroalgal dominated. So imagine you are an ecosystem engineer and you see uh, different coral systems, some which are dominated by macroalgae and some dominated by corals. And your mission is to cause regime shift for those systems that are macroalgal dominated because you want corals everywhere. So first you need a model and you need a way to visualize how this kind of regime shift works. These planes are the stability planes for each species and the x, y, z axis in space is the result of the lock cavalcari equation. Three essential parameters determine the differences between systems. So first we have along the x axis the coral self over other competition parameter. That is how much do corals compete among themselves versus how much they compete with macroalgae. The second axis, we can call it the y-axis, is the macroalgae self over other competition. And the third axis is the macroalgae over coral intrinsic growth ratio. We first have the yellow piece of paper which represents the stability plane of the corals. And then we have the green piece of paper that represents the stability plane of the macroalgae. These origami papers or planes are where the maximum eigenvalue is zero. When that eigenvalue is negative, it indicates stability. So the color side of these papers indicate where either coral or macroalgae are stable on their own. Whereas on the flip side of these planes are white, these are where the eigenvalue is positive. So these are the places where the single species cannot exist stably on its own. Now we have two planes that are ready to intersect each other. So we want the green side facing up and we want the yellow side facing down. Let's see if I got this right. In this first region, we've got green and white. That means the macroalgae is, it can be stable on its own, but the corals cannot. So that means the macroalgae is going to dominate. Next, we have a region where both colors are facing each other. That means each species can exist on its own, that means it's alternative stable states. Third, we have this region where we have yellow and white. That means the corals are going to dominate. And fourth, we have this region where it is white on both sides. That means the eigenvalue is positive for each. Each species cannot be stable on their own, so it means that they're going to coexist. If we can um, use this pen to represent the abundance of fish, what fish does it, is it will graze on macroalgae. We're going to go from a macroalgal dominated state into a region where we have alternative stable states. And this is something that has been seen uh, in the Caribbean. We're going to puncture the second plane and end up in a state where there's only corals. This kind of geometric structure um, has the closest relative in physics in terms of phase diagram, where we can visualize phase transition from liquid to solid to vapor. Thank you for listening.